Good morning. I'm just setting my my workout thing on my watch. Oh, it's Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Hi, Edie. Um, the dog, once again, was nowhere to be found until I came over to this mat. So um, today um, we are going to do barefoot cardio conditioning, which obviously means I'm going to work barefoot. Um, I highly recommend working barefoot for this um, for this workout. If you're brand new to this and just joining me, um, all you all you need to know is that you just need enough space to step forward, side, and back from where you're standing. If you have a mat, that is an added bonus. That will be inc incredibly helpful. If you don't, don't worry about it. The only good thing we're going to use today is and it's really only for balance of the very end of the last interval I'm going to do is something shaped like this. It's a rectangular 3D or a 3D rectangle. Um, this is a yoga block, 10 bucks on the internet. Um, if you have something that's shaped like this, a book, a dumbbell that you're going to turn on the side, but it's only for balance. So if you can get your fingertips to the floor and you don't require it for balance, it is also not necessary. So you see, you can do this with nothing. Uh, I have a towel nearby. I have a couple towels because I'm going to get really sweaty. I also have like to keep water close by in a wine goblet because I'm fancy. Now, what we'll do is we'll warm up using a lot of upper body stabilization. You can always put your knees down anytime I'm in the plank. Then we'll move right into cardio intervals. We'll go through that for the whole class until we do um, core and stretch at the end. Now, if you live anywhere on the West Coast, you might want to take it easy. All the air seems to be atrocious here. My eyes are watering. I've not opened a window. Air conditioning is going, but I'm a little just, you know, this is what I've got working right here. Just Kleenex because I've got a little running nose from it. So, if you have any sort of injury you're working with, I'm nursing a little bit of a sore knee these days. You can always stay in the first or second level of the interval that I'm building. There's no pressure to do all of it. If you've seen a doctor for an injury or should see a doctor for an injury, make sure that you are cleared to do this so that you don't hurt yourself any further. If you are not doing this live and you are watching this on my YouTube fitness channel, Thank you so much. Please subscribe and um, like it and share it and all that good stuff. And if you're watching it on YouTube, you could follow me on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, you could find the link to this in my bio. So, and thank you to everybody who's been able to put a donation into my Venmo or my PayPal. I really do appreciate it. All that information is on my original post for the week. I always put that in there. So, um, and if you're not in a position to do that, that's awesome too. Just get your workout on. Um, I th and the after party today is going to be all of our body since we're not really doing that in class today. So I believe that is all of my housekeeping. So let's stand up the front edge of your mat. I'm just gonna pull these up. I had a cookie, some popcorn last night, I'm a little puppy. All right, standing toward the front edge of wherever you're gonna work. Toes facing me, knees are straight but not locked. Bring your arms up, hold here, then lift your heels up and just find your balance. So your hips are under your shoulders, ankles underneath your hips, hips underneath your shoulders. Then you're gonna sink your hips to find your chair pose squat. So your tailbone goes back. Now your shoulders line up over your knees, lower your heels, wiggle your toes, come up. Take your feet wide, toes slightly turn to the corners, Still hips underneath your shoulders, sink your hips. Your knees track over your toes. Bring your arms up. Beth Lane, hello. Press your palms up towards the ceiling. So here you can wiggle your toes. Your weight firmly plants in the middle of your feet. From here, just lean over towards the right side of your room. Sort of press your palms to where the wall meets the ceiling on the side. Then come back to the center and chain side. So now you're going over to your left. Make sure you can wiggle your toes here. Breathing all the way in and out. Back to the center. Try to lift your heels up. 
Sink your hips a little bit further. Bring your arms forward so your palms are towards me. Lower your heels, toes towards me. Hands on your knees and round up for two. Release for two, round up in one, two. Beth, I've missed you. I missed all of you guys. Getting out of the house to work was nice, but I really do miss this. Round all the way up. Feet under your hips, bring both arms up. Come to a forward fold. Either grab your elbows or let your hands fall to the floor. Try to straighten your left leg. Bend your right knee, sitting into your left hip. Breathing all the way in and all the way out. Just bring your left elbow up and then extend your left arm all the way up. Can you still wiggle your toes? And then bend both knees, come back to the center. I'm just adjusting my music. Let's try it on the other side. Try to straighten your right leg and bend your left knee, sitting into your right hip. Check your toes to see if they can wiggle. Bring your right elbow up and then extend your right fingertips up and still check your toes to see if they can wiggle. Bend both knees, come back to your fold. Your tailbone lifts up. Slowly unroll your back, one bone at a time. At the top, roll your shoulders down and back. Both arms come up and heel reach up. When you fold, lace your fingers, round up for two. Press your palms towards me and around your back. And up, so that's our sequence. You'll fold, round, round, and up. So fold, roll up, round your back, come up. Fold, roll, round, twice more. See, I almost said once, but I did it twice. From here, fold and take your hands to the floor, bend both knees. Step your feet back and find your downward facing dog. That just looks like an upside down V. Your tailbone lifts up to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Your heels press into the floor. Your palms also press into the floor. And then your chest presses through your shoulders. From this position, both heels lift up together. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Let's do four more just like that. So lift and lower. The last two. Then hold your down dog. And lower your hips to plank. You can stay right here or you can lower your knees. If you're not on your knees, you can rock forward and back. Four more if you're doing the rock. Otherwise, just hold. Belly button pulls in. Breathing in and out. Hold whichever plank you're working, and then lift your tailbone up to a down dog, and shift your weight over to your right hand and foot, and bring your left leg up just far enough to feel the stretch behind your right leg. You can stay right here, or bend your left knee, and open your left hip. If you took the bend in rotation, You'll straighten back out to a down dog split where you can stay or you can lower your hips to plank, keeping your leg extended behind you. Feel free to put it down or lower your knees. If you still have one leg up or both knees up, you can try to rock forward and back. So forward and back. Two more. And then hold any plank and come back up to your three-legged dog here and then both feet to the floor, down dog in the middle. That seems like a lot. Let's shift our weight over to your left hand and foot and take your right leg up just far enough until you feel it behind your left leg. You can stay right here or bend your right knee and open your right hip. If you took the bend in rotation, straighten back out to your down dog split where you can stay or you can lower your hips to any plank. If your knees are up or one leg is up, you can find this little rock. Forward and back. Two more. And from any plank, come back up to your three-legged dog. 
both feet to the floor, down dog in the middle. Just for the record, I didn't want to do that whole side either. All right, from your down dog, you're gonna lower your hips to plank. You can lower your knees or stay here from either position. Try to bring your right leg up next to your right hand. Remember your knee can be down in the back. Maybe you touch your right knee. Maybe you reach all the way up. Either way, it's gonna work. Both hands back to the floor. Engage your core. Step back to plank. Try it on the left. Step forward. Maybe your back knee is down. Maybe it's up. Always this toe. I don't know what language I'm speaking. Oh, you can always wiggle these toes. Maybe you touch your left knee. Maybe you reach all the way up. Any of those levels will get you warm. Both hands to the floor. Engage your core. Step back to plank. Let's try that tempo here. Step forward. Reach or touch your knee. Back to plank. Step. Reach or touch your knee. Again. Step. Reach or touch your knee. Let's do it again. One more time each direction. Last one. And then hold any plank. If your knees are still up, put them down. Release your feet. Hips to your heels. Child's pose. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. You'll round up to a modified plank. That just means hands underneath your shoulders, knees on the floor. So one long line from the knees through your body to the crown of your head. Maybe you bend your elbows and keep them close to your rib cage. They can be a little bit or a lot bit. Either way, you straighten them. Take your hips back to your heels. To child's pose. Let's make that flow. Round up and either hold or bend and child's pose. Round up, hold or bend. Let's do it again. Round up, hold or bend. We're going twice more here. Round up, hold or bend. Last time. And then round up to modified plank and hold it there. Tuck your toes. Push down to come up to your down dog. Bring your knees back to the floor. When you get there, release your feet. Find your child's pose again. Let's make it flow. Round up. Tuck your toes. Press to down dog. Lower your knees. Child's pose. Let's do it again. Round up. For two, push down. For two, lower. One more flow through. Round up. When you get there, tuck your toes. Press down. So on this next pass, find your modified plank, hold it here. Maybe you tuck your toes and lift your knees. From either plank, right hand to the middle, rotate to a side plank. So this, feel free to put your right knee on the floor, but your right wrist is under your right shoulder, through your body. Top arm reaches towards the knee for two, and now lace underneath your bottom arm. Single count towards me and up and under once more towards me and up and hold your side plank. Then come back to the center. Find any plank. Maybe your knees are down, maybe up. Left hand to the middle. Rotate to your side plank. Feel free to put your left knee on the floor, but either way, check it. Left hand under your left shoulder through. Right fingertips up. Top arm towards me for two and up. Now lace underneath your bottom arm. Single count towards me and up and under again towards me. Hold your side plank. Come back to the center. Find any plank. From here you can hold or you can bend your elbows a little bit and hover for four. Three, two, press the floor away from you. Hi, Lori. Lift your tailbone up to a down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold, let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up and slowly unroll at the top. Roll the shoulders down and back. Three, two, both arms come up. Forward fold, first interval, hands to the floor. Step back, find any plank, 
So maybe you're starting with your knees on the floor. If you are, your next progression is to come up. If you're already up, next progression is to bring one knee in and back to plank. If you're already bringing your knees in, maybe you go a little faster. Maybe you run it out. You can alternate, go fast, then slow, then maybe a hold. Either way, if you have 10 seconds to work, feel free to go faster than me. Four, three, two, hold and plank. Your tailbone lifts up. Down dog, walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold, unroll, in four, three, two, squat to your palms together. We're doing that a couple more times. When I say that, I mean that thing with the plank and maybe your knees coming in. So see our heart rate up and out of the gate. Both arms come up, inhale, reach up, forward fold. Knees are bent, hands to the floor, step back, find any plank. If your knees are down, next progression is to bring them up. If you're up, maybe your knees come in and plank. Maybe they go faster than this. You guys keep going. Just giving the music a little bump. It was getting soft. Maybe you double it up and run. You don't have to. As long as your heart rate is up and you are warm, you are working. In four, three, two, hold any plank. Tailbone lift up, down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold. Tailbone lifts up, unroll. In four, three, palms together, squats here. This is one of those days where it's gonna be a lot of work for me to get this done. It must just be the air quality. Whoo, because I just feel allergic. We're doing that one more time. Last time, both arms come up, inhale, reach up. Bend your knees, hands to the floor, step back. Find any plank, maybe your knees are down and up. If they're already up, give it a shot. Bring it in to plank. Maybe it's faster. It's where I have to talk to myself and remind myself that I can get through this too. Uh, in, maybe you double it up. Maybe you go slower. Either way, we've got 10 seconds. In, breathing in and out. In four, three, two, hold any plank. Tailbone lifts up, down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold. Tailbone lift up, unrolling for three, two squats here. Breathing in and out. Remember, when you come out of your squat, you're pushing down into the floor to come up. So the goal is to squeeze your booty, not to lock your knees. Shoulders down and back. This is gonna be our base move. You can keep it here, or you can bring your arms up by your ears. Oh, I missed one. Sink, press. Push down for your feet to come up. You can work here or you can forward fold with me. Slowly reach up behind you, come up. Two squats. One more squat. Fold slowly, reach up. Two squats. We're gonna make it a slightly faster forward fold here. Fold, come up, one squat. Fold. One squat. So if the fold is just not for you, and who could blame you, you can get rid of it and do only squats here. We'll just miss every other one, the people that are folding. Swing. Up. If you need a little more in your fold, feel free to lift your heels up and squat. Again. Fold and squat. If you're lifting your heels, maybe you give a little more 
and get a little air and squat. Again, fold and squat. Again, fold. Breathing in and out. Two more of any level. Once more, hold any squat here. Hope that you share pose with your fingertips reaching up to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. Woo, the heart rate, nice and high. Come up, palms together, and sink. Push down, come up. Left leg steps back one time. On the right, those my pants are falling down. All right. Those of you, I don't think any of you guys were on yesterday. Yesterday was a full blown circus in this room. I don't know what I was thinking. Scheduling for a Tuesday at 10. That's when the gardener comes and he comes right to that gate. All right, as you step, extend your arms, give it a slice. I bend at the front, and then slice, bend, slice. Maybe sink your hips a little bit. And he put the gardeners back there. He was trimming those bushes. The dog was working. All right, center, just the squat. Wait. Oh. All right, that's the first part of the interval. Beth, you're hilarious. All right, second part. You know this. Step wide, together. Step wide, step together. Fingertips to the floor. So, you don't have to make it a step. You can make it a hop. Hop together. Hop out, hop in. Four. Three. Two. Left leg steps. One more. Step out or jump. I hope you're all still with me. I thought I was paused because of the internet. Left leg steps back. Step. Two more. Step or jump wide. Four. Three. Two. Last time. Left leg steps back. Four. Three. Two, step out or jump. Four, three, two, and hold it here. Find your squat. Arms out to the side. Fingertips reaching out to the walls. Maybe you lift your heels. Make a fist. Extend. I think that my hands are not in the frame. Must be because I'm so tall. But you know how to make a fist. And extend. Make a fist. Hold your hands in the fist right here. Bring your fist up by your ear, your arms up by your ears. Lower your heels, wiggle your toes. Push down and come up. Palms together, squats right here. Right in and around me are online for school. Our schools are going back next Tuesday. They're going in the afternoon, or at least my kid is. Hybrid, some morning, some afternoon, so maybe that'll give the morning internet a little break around this neighborhood. All righty. Feet slightly wider than your hips, toes towards me. We're gonna break this down. Most of you know this if you've been working out with me. If not, here's how it goes. How does it go? Let me think. Two more. All right, touch your knees. Left leg reaches back behind you. Wide, come up, other way, squat, step back, wide, come up. So you bend, step back. This is the base move. Maybe your hands touch the floor, step back, and go wide, come up. Hands down or to your knees. So just the one leg back, down, back. Maybe you reach up, with the opposite arm. So it's much like what we did in the warm up. But remember, you don't have to reach. You can take a hand on your leg. Maybe reach, totally up to you. Sink your hips. So you want to avoid 
making a fold, your booty goes down. I know it's tempting to do this. Try not to. You can also work right here. Up to you. Again, so sink, reach, sink, reach, same thing, sink, reach. We're doing four more after this one. Four to go. So four, chest up, booty down, press down to come up. Last two. One more. And just the squat. Sink. Chest up, shoulders down, and back. Hold your squat. Hold it. Take your fingertips to where the wall meets the floor behind you. Wiggle your toes. Make a fist. Extend. So you're really squeezing underneath your armpits to make this happen. One more. Hold your hands in a fist. Push down to come up. Bring your arms up. Fingertips reach up. Try to lift your heels in this wide position. Then try to find your chair pose squat with your feet not quite under your hips. Should feel different. Lower your heels, wiggle your toes. Come up, feet under your hips, palms together and sink down. If you need a sip of water or whatever you brought to the party, now's the time to get some. Whew. Feel like I'm working out around a bonfire. I think my live people are all people also in the fire zone. I mean, not in the fire zone to be evacuated, but in where the wind is blowing it. Good times. All right, touch your knees, knuckles up right here. Sink, knuckles up. So remember, take it easy. If you're feeling weird at all, rest, say respiratorily. No, I the words. If you're feeling more out of breath than usual, Take it easy if you're in Oregon, Washington, California. Four more just like that. So four, press. Three, press. One more, left leg steps out, palms together. Other way. You guys know this one. Sink your hips. Push against the floor to come up. Let your arms swing down, together, down, together. Four more like that. So four, push down. Three, two, feet parallel, just the squat. And for those of you who don't live in, in anywhere in California, Washington, Oregon, a lot of us, like I live coast. A lot of other people doing this live up the coast. All the fire stuff is burning and the wind blowing it all the way out. So even the air at the beach is not so great these last few days. All right. We have this guy, the squat reach and press. Two more. And then step out on your left. Bring your arms down to the side and over your right. Easy enough? We know these. Feet parallel, squat, touch your knees. Make sure you have space behind you for the next part. One more, palms together at the chest and squat. Make sure you have room. Two more. And then left leg steps back once to a lunge. Right leg, step back. Again, let your arms swing. Down, up. So down, up. Two more. And then left leg, step back, sink your hips. Four, easy enough. Three. Two, squat, touch your knees. So that's all easy enough. Here's what's gonna happen. Let's walk through it. Left leg steps back, lunge. Other leg. Left leg steps out once. Squat, touch your knees. Right leg lunges back. And left, step out on your right. One squat, touch your knees. Left leg lunges back. And right, step out left. Squat, touch your knees, right leg back. So you have two back lunges, one step out right, squat to press. Left leg lunges back, and right. Step out left, squat, touch your knees, right leg steps back, and lunge, reach. 
Step out right. Squat, touch your knees. Left leg lunges. Back. Up. Step out left. Squat, touch your knees. Right leg goes back. Last time. Right leg out. Squat, touch your knees. Hold it here. Try to lift your heels up. Try to find your squat. Palms together. Shoulders down the back. Lower your heels. Wiggle your toes. Come up. Squats here. Edie's asking if Planet Fitness is opening. I didn't hear about it. I heard on the news this morning that the state of California, that the gyms were suing the state for closing or forcing them to close without any proof that the virus is spreading there. I don't know, what do you think? That's all I heard. Maybe I didn't see enough of the news. Go and grab my towel, sweating like a monkey. I don't know if monkeys really sweat. I was gonna say something far more on the edge of monkey, and I caught myself. Why? I don't know. I'm not working for anybody but me. But you know, old habits die hard. Left leg steps back four times, so four. Together. Three, together. Two, right side. Four times, so you step back. Together, step back. Two more. Oh, they are opening. This step can become a lunge. She's saying she's not commercial for Planet Fitness. I don't know. We'll see. Right side, so it can step, or you can bend your back knee to make it a lateral lunge. Maybe you add the arms if you're taking the lunge. Press, sink, press. Right side for four. Push against the floor to come up. Two, left side for two. So one more, right side for two. Let's do it again in two. So one more. Right side for two. Now single side to side. Step back, press. Step, press. Now, <clears throat> oh, I think I have smoke in my throat. Now if you're ready, you can sink your hips a little further. Fingertips to the floor. We're doing four more of any level. One more, squat parallel, sink. Squeeze your glutes, two more, hold, hold. Take the arms up to a V. Fingers extending out, can you wiggle your toes? Can you shift your weight forward to the ball of your foot and lift your heels up? Breathe, take your fingertips down to where the wall meets the floor, then bring it back up to where the wall meets the ceiling. Two counts to bring the arms down. For two, can you balance here again? One, two, hold here, lower your heels, wiggle your toes highly so we look fit. Push down, palms together, sink, squeeze your glutes. Shoulders down and back. All righty, cross your forearms, push down to the middle of your feet to come up. So no knee locking. Hold it here. Bend, elbows up. Bend, cross your forearms. Bend, elbows up. So this is our base level. If this is all you can manage with the smoky air, that's all you have to do. Or up tempo. So elbows cross. Elbows cross. So it's a little bounce. Maybe your heels come up as your elbows lift. Lift. If you're up, when I say elbows, I meant heels. If your heels are lifting, maybe you press, get a little air. Up, cross, up, four to go. So four, three, maybe you're pushing against the floor to come up, and palms together. So remember that part? The other part we already did. We did it in the warm up, then we did it again as an interval at the top of the class. Now we're gonna add it with that craziness. Ready, slow motion, hands to the knees or the floor. 
left leg back, back together, slightly wider than your hips. Again, touch the floor or your knees. Right leg reaches back, slightly wider than your hips. Up tempo here. So floor or knees, push down to come up. So remember, you can work here. So remember the arms, maybe you reach up. Push down to come up. It's so easy to forget to push against the floor. So try to push yourself up instead of pulling yourself up with your back. So we're gonna do one of these on each side. Last time. Palms together right here. This is where this happens. Two more just like this. And then here comes your elbow lift or your jump. Two more. Last one. Now hands to the floor or knees. Left leg back. Other side. Now maybe your elbows lift, heels up or jump. Two more. We're doing it again. To the floor or knees. Left leg, right arm maybe. Again, other side. Elbows lift. Up. Two more. Last set. Hands down. Reach up or not. Again. Elbows. Four. Three. Two. Hold your palms together and sink. Wiggle your toes. Elbows to the side. Shift your weight forward. Try to lift your heels up. Hold it here. Three, two, and lower your heels. Wiggle your toes. Push down to come up at the top. You can pedal or you can hop. Either way, shoulders down and back. All right, so if you're pedaling, your next progression is a hop. If you're hopping, you're gonna split side to front back. Yes? It's hard to do in a pedal. If you're working here, you don't get a prize, but keep in your head for four, three, two, find your squat together. So next time we get into that, which is right away, once we're in our single, single double, pardon, once we're front and back, we're gonna go into single, single double. I can't wait to tell you all in the after party about a moment of stress that just occurred, but I hope it was invisible to everybody. All right, so remember, hop or pedal. From the pedal, you move to hop. From the hop, you move the front back, yes? Ready? Hop or pedal. So pedal, or hop, or front and back. If you're front and back, single, single, double, hold. So one, two, hold. One, two, hold. So this is after you're able to get to a hop and a front back. This is your next progression. Otherwise, maybe you're just pedaling it out. That might be enough for you. Check the arms. One more. Just the squat together. Keep that in your head. There's still one more progression to do. And that's adding arms. Whew. Push down the come up. All right, so remember, pedal is number one. Hop is number two. Front back is number three. Single, single hold is four. This time on the single, single double, we really add some arms. Ready? Hop or pedal right here. So pedal or hop or front back. I want to go this way. Ready? Let's go. Single, single hold. One hold. Maybe you reach. Maybe you sink. So the leg that's back is the arm that's up. Dog in the house. High diggity dog. Four. Three. Two. Hold squat here. Woo, how's everybody? Feet wide, toes towards me. Squat. Squeeze your glutes. 
I have a new combo that I wanna do. We might run short on time. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the new thing. I'm gonna shorten the old thing, yeah? Sure. Reach and pull. I know you know this part. Two more. Palms together right here. So just that wide reach and pull squat is half of the interval. Left leg, lateral lunge, tap together, same side. Easy enough. So you can just step together. So it's step out, step in. If you bend the outside leg, it's a lateral lunge. Now maybe try the knee lift. So out, up, out, up. Easy enough. Wide squat here. You know we're doing on the other side. Alrighty. Right leg, step out, together tap. So the right leg can just be a step, or you can take a nice bend and have a lateral lunge. Either way, it's gonna work. As long as you're moving, maybe this becomes a knee lift at the top. So lunge, press down to the floor to come up, out, up, out, up. Let's do four. Press three, last two, and then wide parallel squat. All right, so all we're gonna do with this reach and pull, remember your booty's the leader down, is two of each. What? Lateral lunge or step on your left. Knee lift or tap. Wide parallel squat. One more. Try it on the right. Lunge or step out. Up, out, wide parallel squat. Yes. Left leg step or lunge. Out, reach up. And wide squat, dog, move. Right side, here we go. Step or knee lift. Wide parallel squat. We'll do it again. Once more, each side. Step, reach. Wide parallel. Right leg, here we go, right leg. Leg, wide squat. Maybe your heels lift up, do it again. Heels maybe up. Squat, reach. Hold up, hold it. Lower your heels. Cross your forearms, toes to the corners. Sink your hips. Just pulse right here. Hi, guy. It is, guys, it's super smoky at your house. It is so smoky here. Trying to lay low. Lots of clean eggs. All right, arms up to a V, sink your hips. Cross your arms up. And out, again, sink, cross, up tempo here, cross, V, cross, V, maybe you stay here, maybe your heels lift up, heels up, and out. If your heels are lifting, you know the drill, maybe you press down to come up, four, three, last one, right arm swings left, center, other way. This is the part where you may want the block or the book, whatever you're using. Maybe you lean forward and let your back leg lift. Center, jump or not. So four, three, right arm, swings left. Center, you don't have to lift your leg. It's an option. Center, jump or not, four. Maybe not. Two more. This time, warrior three. Two balance here. Maybe you have your block or your book to help you. Hold here. Flex your right foot. That's the heel that's up. Give a little pulse right here. If you want your fingertips to come to the floor, but try not to lean on it. On the back, come in the frame. So you can be here or here, but try not to lean on your hands. For four, three, two, hold, heel towards the hip, and extend. Once more. Now maybe bend your standing leg. One, two, extend. One more slowly. One, two, single count. So you'll bend, straighten, bend, straighten. One more, 
and hold it up. Right leg comes down, feet parallel. Let your tailbone lift up. Unroll, three, two, hop or pedal here. Woo, who's sweaty? Pour it on, in four, three, feet wide, toes to the corners, sink. Cross your forearms, we're gonna break down and go the other way. Arms out to a V, cross up, over your head. Remember this, up tempo here. Cross, V. Maybe your heels lift, up, out. Maybe you jump, left arm swings right, center, other way. Maybe you lean over and your back leg lifts. In four, three, two, center, jump or not. Woo, four, three, two, left arm. Swings right. Maybe you lean over. One more. Center, jump or not. Four. Is your block ready? One more. Warrior three to your right. Maybe you have your block at the ready. Let's scooch back. Maybe you don't need it. Maybe your fingertips are on the floor. Flex your left foot and pulse. That's the foot that's up. It can be low, level, or up high. Can you wiggle your right toes? Hold your pulse and heel bend towards your hip and extend. Maybe both knees bend. Single count. Bend, extend, bend, extend. The sweat is pouring into my eyeballs. In four, press. Three, two, and hold up. Bring your left leg back to parallel. Unroll. In four, three, hop or pedal at the top. Shake it out. Four to go. In four, three, two, feet parallel and squat. Again, two more squats. And then both arms up, hands on your knees, round your back. Release your back. Do that again. Round your back. Release this time round all the way up. Grab a towel, some water. Whew. Crazy. The air quality. I didn't think it would really affect me that much, but oh, it did. Excuse me while I just stick my head out of here and blow my nose. I just figured that didn't need to be on camera. You know, I'm pretty open, but I figure, you know what you guys don't need to see? Me blowing my nose. All right. Get your towel out. Grab a stick. Ooh -wee. I can't wait for all the smoke to get out of the air. Okay. I was gonna say it reminds me of being on an airplane in the 70s. Remember that? You'd be like, I like the non-smoke infection of a plane. And then like the smoke infection would be the rows are behind you or in front of you. All right. I'm gonna use, I've already right said two towels, so I'm sitting on one because I'm a sweaty mess. If you don't have two, sit on your mat or your floor and just take your towel, shoulder distance apart, so you're pulling it out to the side. That'll help you keep, heel. help you keep your shoulders down. Sitting up tall, knees bent, a little or a lot. Feet flat on the floor, sit up nice and tall on your booty bones, then curl back for two, and right back up. Curl for two. As you curl, maybe your arms extend up towards the ceiling, still pulling your towel out to the sides. That'll force you to engage your lats. Those are the muscles on the sides of your body. I'll get the same thing. So curl, reach. Again, curl, reach, couple more, curl, reach. We're gonna keep the curl, we're gonna add the rotation towards me. So rotate towards me and up, rotate away from me. Curl down, rotate, and center. Maybe your front leg comes up, it doesn't have to. It's just added resistance for your core. What, who doesn't need that? One, two, I don't know anybody 
who's ever said, you know, my stuff is awesome. I don't need any more core work. Even the people that I look at and think, wow, their core looks amazing. They don't say, I'm good, I don't need any more core. One more each side, curl, rotate. Yes, the sun does look like a street light guy. Curl down and hold in the center. All the sun sets in the west as if they were set in the east. I just mean out here where it's smoky. The sun literally looks just like a big round red light. So weird. Hold here, give it a little pulse. Shoulders down, in four, three, two, hold here. Extend your front leg, your back leg, front leg, back leg, hold it here. Maybe you pick your front leg up. Can you hold it here, stay rounded? Maybe your back leg comes up. You don't have to, you can put your toes down. Either way, rotate towards me and center. Rotate away from me and center, ready? Towards me, center, away from me, center. Maybe your knees go in opposition to the knees. Go away from me. Now they go towards me. Let's do four more and four, three, two, and put your feet down if they were up. Forward fold. Your knees can be bent or straight. Either way, you're gonna release your low back. You probably feel this behind your leg on your hamstrings. Actively separating your shoulder blades. Chin to your chest. Inhale. On your exhale, flex both feet. Bring your eyes up first, your shoulders, and then your body. At the top, you'll tuck your hips. You can use your fingertips if you like, and curl down. One bone at a time, I'm gonna run into my sign. Bring your knees into your chest. Let me scooch, and rock your knees side to side. Ooh, you know I like to extend my top leg as I take a rotation across. What are we doing on Friday? What? Friday? Friday, air quality should be better. Fingers crossed. And we'll do the class where I do the hand weights in the beginning, and then the interval stuff. And come back to the center. Knees stay to the chest. Fingertips behind your ears. Untuck your hips. 90 degrees with the hip of the knee. Belly button level to your pelvic bone, or you can measure by your hip bone. Your hip bones want to be flat, so not tipped either direction, but parallel to the floor and ceiling. Keep your legs at 90 and 90. Extend your back leg to the wall in front of you. That might be enough resistance for you. If you need more, squeeze under your back armpit. Peel your back shoulder blade off the floor. Let your back arm fall away from me. This front knee stays at 90 and 90. Slowly change side, same position, and slowly change four, three, two, you're there on one, slowly change, three, two, one, thank you, Edie. My core is taking a beating in its life. Four, three, two, counts to get there in one, two, one, two, one, two, single count here, it's up and up. Three abdominal surgeries I've had, each one crazier than the last. In four, three, let's do a double pulse at the top. I'm really racing the clock today. Up for two, one more time, and then release, knees to the chest. I'll do some extra abs in the after party today. Bring your knees to your chest, stretch your low back. Set your feet on the floor, close to your booty. One bridge, hands to the side of your hips. Tuck your hips, push your feet down to lift your hips and spine off the floor. A bridge pose, diagonal, from your shoulders through your hips and your knees. Can your toes wiggle? Pushing the floor down, away from your feet. And slowly lower your spine, one bone at a time. Front knee comes in. Yes, <laughs> my full leg. Just you guys know, this booty came with the DNA. It's just how it was. I can keep it lifted, but this is the way it's shaped. Extend your front leg up until you feel the stretch 
behind it, this back leg can stay where it is, or it can extend anywhere out along the floor. Flex the front foot, bend the knee to the chest, send the heel up. Again, so flex, bend, press the heel up once more, flex, bend this time, hold your extension. This leg does not have to be straight. You're just trying to feel the stretch behind this leg. Take your front arm on the inside of the front leg and open out to the side until you feel the stretch on the inside of your leg. Press your back hip to the floor and flex both feet. Pushing your heels out to the wall. Then bend your front leg back to the center, front arm towards knee. Back arm goes across your bent knee. Take your knee away from your screen. Fingertips still reaching out to your screen. In four, three, two, come back to the center. Let's do the other side. Front foot on the floor. Extend your back leg up until you feel the stretch behind it. Maybe your front leg stays where it is. Maybe it slides out. Totally up to you. I don't have any prizes. Flex your foot, bend the knee to the chest. One, two, send the heel up again. Although I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun if I did have prizes? Like I could do a giveaway during the class? Maybe I will. Let's see if I can work out. Hold it up. Take your back arm on the inside of your back leg and open your leg out to the side until you feel the stretch on the inside of this back leg. Front hip on the floor, flex both feet. Breathing all the way in and out. And then bend your knee to the chest. Back arm reaches out to the side, front arm goes across the knee. And the knee rotates over towards me, reaching your back arm. There's a lot of choreography going on behind my camera. Whole family from the front entryway. Dancing, the dog's there. And come back to the center. Both feet on the floor, flip over onto your stomach. Arms and legs extended. Front arm reaches back around, grab where your shoelaces would be. Pull your heel towards your hip. Hip to the floor. Dog on the side. Yes, maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do a workout and put the giveaway. And release. Reach around, grab where your shoelaces would be. Heel to the hip, hip to the floor, breathing all the way in and all the way out. If you can keep it there, bring your front arm back around, grab where your shoelaces would be on both feet. If you're not quite there, work on it. Grab your heels, maybe your pants. If you're already there, push your feet to your hands. Try to lift your knees up. That should feel pretty good on your quads. And then release, hands the side of your chest. Press your chest up. Take your hips back to your heels to child pose. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. And rotate your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Hands are on your side. Release your palms to the floor. Round up to a tabletop. Hands under your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Round your back. Push your hands and feet down to lift your tailbone up and walk your feet up towards your hands. Your tailbone lifts, slowly unroll. One bone at a time in four, three, two. Okay, you guys are all done with this class. I can't imagine you're not sweaty. So I'm gonna sign off, share it, post it, all that good stuff. Then in five minutes we come back, I'm gonna get my dumbbells out, we're gonna do some upper body, and maybe a little extra core since I didn't do very long. You're so welcome, Edie. All right, so I'll see some of you in five minutes and some of you on Friday and then next week's regular schedule, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. See you in a little bit. Thanks.